questions all right so we are starting today's session with a warm up activity and in this warm up activity i would like you to describe this picture and write a few sentences but these sentences you will not write in your notebook i will be sharing a web address all right uh, which is a wonderful collaborative learning platform like just um, you know stop share all right uh, let me share my screen again all right uh, and meanwhile you start thinking that what it is all right okay now can you see this wall this blue wall yes ma'am all we right can. okay so this is the blue wall all right and this is a wall or you can say that a writing wall all right i will share the link in the chat box listen very carefully i will share the link in the chat box you will have to click that link all right and this link will tell take you to this wall all right you will have an access to come to this wall uh, if you can see uh, in the corner this is the this is the pink pink icon or a pink button which you know with plus sign if you can see all right where is my this this mouse and this you know this cursor is moving so this plus sign and this button will when you click this like this all right it will allow you to you know it will uh, open a text box a text box and it will allow you to write your responses and your views uh, of on about this picture uh, you know Uh, live and as soon as you just post it i will be able to see your responses on my screen and even everybody will be able to see it is that clear um, uh, you know are my instructions clear to all of you yes ma'am all right that's great that's great and i think you will have a wonderful experience of this because um, this is a unique activity and um, i know that you may not have done it before but it is a collaborative writing wall all right collaborative writing wall means that you will be writing and sharing your responses and your thoughts and your ideas about this picture and um, uh, you know whenever you will post it it will appear on my screen and everybody will be able to read it uh, there are few instructions of what to describe in the picture what to describe this picture is like you know something which is it is not very simple picture that as you can describe that there is an elephant and something like that i would like you to put some some abstract ideas do you know what abstract ideas are you know anyone can you please tell me if you if you know what abstract ideas are what do you mean by abstract ideas inferences yeah in literature you may be you you may be learning about it that uh, if you are writing a story or if you are uh, you know when we talk about the academic writing so what are some of the key features of academic writing and when we are writing or a writer is writing uh, you know or in, you know any authors when they are writing they are not only looking at the superficial things they they dive deeper into the uh, into the uh, into the thoughts and then bring something you know uh, something unique uh from the from the treasure of their uh, you know their their ideas and their their thinking world all right so what are abstract ideas have you heard about abstract ideas anybody would like to comment on it no all right so i'm sharing the link in the chat box and please start writing your um, uh, uh, you know three to four sentences to describe this picture let me share the link okay uh, flip to copy code all right now here is the link can you please let me know if you have received the link yes ma'am all right great now click this link and if you have any difficulty you can always ask me i'll help you with that click this link and then this wall you will have an access to this wall which you can see on my screen and this is a writing wall then you will have to click this plus button at the bottom of your screen you will see this at the bottom of your mobile phone screen
and you will also see the picture as well because i thought that you may not remember looking at uh, you know looking at in the powerpoint presentation so this is already on the wall all right please keep briefing me if you have started writing all right um that's really great i have received one comment here uh and in which uh, you know um you have written that there are so many things to do but the situation sometimes did not allow us to do this elephant makes saying uh, there are so much pressure on a person to handle all the things at once uh, children wants to play go out but the environment doesn't allow them this is excellent i'm glad i'm literally glad that you have very well uh, you know briefed the situation and described the picture सर्वाइव करने के लिए एक दूसरे का राइट अच्छा आई वुड लाइक यू टू प्लीज वट एवर यू नो द सिंपल सेंटेंसेस यू कैन राइट राइट इन इंग्लिश सो दैट आई कुड ऑल्सो चेक योर राइटिंग स्किल्स बिकॉज इन फ्यूचर आवर क्लासेस विल बी अबाउट एकेडेमिक रीडिंग एंड राइटिंग ओके सो बिफोर आई बिगिन द सेशन ऑन एकेडेमिक राइटिंग एंड रीडिंग आई वुड लाइक टू टीच यू uh i would like to give you some classes on vocabulary and writing skills i hope you would like it and you would definitely uh, appreciate those classes that what are the stages of writing and what is academic writing and what is non academic writing all right so uh, this activity is on purpose because it will give me an idea that from where i have to start all right so two comments have been shared thank you so much i have read your comment uh, you know and uh, this is nice that you have written that uh, you know a man who is drowning is uh, always in search of a support exactly yes all right and uh, in this comment you are trying to say that people actually for their own personal uh, advantages and benefits they use people all right and uh, we are okay and uh, people are dependent on each other for their survival all right maybe these are the two or three ideas that you have shared okay okay uh, this is a brilliant uh, idea that they are fighting for their interest all right i would appreciate if you could elaborate it little more all right you could write three two three more sentences fighting for interest is a phrase actually right it is a phrase so it is not giving me a complete meaning and the idea that what you actually mean to say so although it is it is a good phrase fighting for interest uh, but again i would appreciate if you could just elaborate it all right uh, very nice very nice i would i would be waiting for i'm waiting for more responses so you know when you have your own interpretation of this picture it means that every individual has his her own perception of thinking about the things for example that you can see we have this you know this uh, this beautiful blue sea and then we have this turtle and this elephant all right so one might think that you know the nature is so beautiful but as you can see that there is there are tall buildings at the back of the elephant it may be describing it may be telling us that due to commercialization and deforestation all right and because of materialistic approach we have destroyed the nature all right do you think this this can be one of the thought one of the idea that we can we can add to describe this picture yes yes ma'am ma all right yes, okay exactly so you see that now we are making cities and the big plazas and commercial buildings and the residential buildings because of the you know the population all right so you see that we may have destroyed the nature another thing is that you know uh, we you, uh, you know i'm just giving you and in in you know injecting you some of the thoughts on how to think basically you know thinking and how to think is one of the most important learnings all right our our thoughts should be directed to so there is a girl sitting here all right with balloons maybe she wants freedom maybe she wants she wants to touch the skies maybe she is very ambitious in her life all right and she wants to she wants to go higher and higher all right so this can be related to the aims and ambitions we always have in our life all right we always dream to achieve something bigger and something greater in our life so this can imply to that the girl on uh, you know this uh, the the girl on the ladder and she is actually trying to touch and see the other side of the window can actually do not the idea that she may be 
she is she is an explorer all right she is a discoverer she is an explorer she wants to uh, explore uh, the facts about life she wants to explore the, about uh, the, the purpose of her existence all right and then you know when we when we are uh, all the discoverers in the world and explorers in the world uh, they were first intrigued or they can say triggered by their curiosity we all are curious to know that what is happening in the world what is at the back side of the world you know at this back side of the window and plus everything has its two perspective all right every coin has two sides so one perspective is looking at one side and the other perspective is that what is at the other side so we cannot draw the conclusion and we can we, we can't be judgmental only at looking at one side all right so this might imply to this thing all right so you see that there are a lot of ideas that can be incorporated uh, in this and in describing the picture something which you can see and something which you can't see it is your thought process it is the beauty of your ideas that what color what what shape you would like to give give it to uh, you know this picture and you you do you know, writing is a painting of your thoughts when you are writing what you are doing you are giving the life to your imagination all right so great writers or the great writers they are actually the product of their creative imagination keep that in your mind you know imagination is very important when you are writing uh, we all are watching it from our own ideas exactly 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 you can give it to any um, you know any 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 uh, uh, you can say thoughts all right you know you wouldn't believe that once i uh, you know i heard uh, you know Uh, from students who were describing this picture so they gave it you know as i told you in the beginning that they uh, described it from the perspective of uh, uh, like this is this is pakistan all right they said that this is this uh, this turtle is pakistan and it is very slow and it has you know got a lot of burden okay so this was their thinking right so uh, no one is wrong or right in literature when we talk about literature when we talk about poetry when we talk about uh, you know uh, implicit and uh, you know you can say abstract ideas perceptions no one is wrong and right everyone and everyone's perception is to be respected and everyone is right in her in his or her understanding about things okay but we have to have the acceptance of a uh, unique unique and have to have the acceptance of differences yes please ma'am and also through comments uh, we can speculate we are able to speculate about the thinking of ones actually yes. how his nature is how he thinks is exactly. it negative or po exactly. positive exactly exactly you know your thinking basically describes you as a person right that whether you are an optimist uh, optimist or you are a pessimist or you are very hopeful all right so uh, your thinking basically describes you as a person so i second you asadali uh, that's great all right so i'm going to go now further today we have a topic which is phrase clause and sentences all right i would like to know from you all right so when you are writing definitely we write in sentences you will agree all right you can just when you just have a book and you see that some uh, author has written a book so this book is basically is the combination of words and sentences and the ideas all right so let's begin with uh, describing what is a phrase and what is a clause as you can already see on my screen what is your understanding about it yes what do you think what is a phrase if i ask you to define me what is a phrase any ideas ma'am yes close yani ke matlab kisi baat ki nishandahi karna ya koi aisi baat kar raha ho jis pe shak ho mm -hmm. okay this is a close you mean to say that a close is to point yes. out something to indicate something okay thank you so much yeah anybody else would like to describe what is a close or what is a phrase in your understanding phrase verb actually may may try uh yes please yes please mam class a group of words that gives a complete sense is class class a group a group of words which cannot give a complete sense is called phrase is called phrase all right so this is one of the aspects of phrases and clauses yeah right yes please yes sir sir phrasal mam phrasal verb actually is the combination of two or three words from mm -hmm. different grammatical uh, categories 
Okay, great, great. Okay, very nice. All right. So as you can see on the screen, acha. By the way, after one minute, this meeting will be ended. So please take a uh, five to ten minutes break and join again. Okay. And we will be having three sessions today. All right. Because um, that first session was warm up and describing the picture was to give you an idea that you can you can't be a good writer unless or until you have a deep thinking process. and besides that we you also need to have the language mechanism and language mechanism means that number one having a good vocabulary then understanding of the sentence structures and kind of the sentences so this is very topic relevant we have this topic to discuss today so i wanted to give you an idea that if you are given a topic to write on what how you know what is the writing process and this we will do in detail in future hopefully all right so i was just um, you know thinking to give you a general idea about it but we have the main topic today is phrase clause and sentences all right so um phrase a phrase is a small group of words that adds meaning to a sentence a phrase is not a sentence because it is not a complete idea with a subject verb and a predicate all right so when we say phrase what is a phrase phrase is actually a group of words which has no subject and no verb it is just a group of words it can be definite it can be a noun phrase